looking like a mad man right now over my hair. But yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Jack Ruffin Fitness. You know we're training hard. We're gonna we keep cutting. We keep trying to chase our dreams. We got a chess session today with apparently mental psycho hair. Um yeah, we're gonna go hit a chess and try session today. We're gonna get a big sweaty pump on. Um obviously I can't really talk in the gym again with no mic, but I'll make sure the video's better edited and just not as rushed as the last ones have been. If obviously you guys see my Instagram story on Friday, it explained why there wasn't a video on Friday. Um, obviously just a bit all over the place trying to do videos at the moment because I'm trying to focus on a lot of things at once. Um, and trying to make money and trying to get a job. Life's pretty stressful at the moment but we still keep hitting gym, we still keep building, we still keep growing. We keep, we keep, keep failing sometimes but we keep picking myself back up and that's the main goal. So we're going to go hit this insane chair session and I will see you guys either at the gym or after the gym one of the two me and my crazy hair we'll see you at the gym yo guys haven't done a voiceover in ages so we hit a chest session obviously as you can see we started off with bench press haven't benched in ages so we started light with a warm-up of 60 and it surprisingly moved quite fast and then we just did i think four sets working down from like 10 8 6 4 2 to my two rep max of 90s you'll see at the end of this this is 70 um i haven't bench pressed properly in ages so it was massive and i'm uh, that I'm, ha I'm happy that i got 90 for at least one which you guys are going to see after this 80 moved quite light as well as you can see right now um just trying to work on my form again trying to get my bench press back high but obviously literally first time bench pressing again and my left shoulder is honestly never been in so much agony so i'm going to try and get that checked out try and work on some more mobility for my uh, shoulder try and get it a bit better so for the 90 kilo, um, obviously I just acquired a spot artist from somewhere, some guy in the gym, um, what, a, what a guy, but the first rep was a bit bad, obviously as you can see I had to use leg drive, and the second rep I couldn't even push up, so we're going to definitely work on that. Then we end up moving over to dumbbell incline, again um, I, went, I went heavy like I normally do on 30, uh, to 30s, and I couldn't even, at first set I got 6 reps, second set I got 3 and then the last set which I said it was three by six. Um, I got three on the set and I ended up failing. And then on the second and on the third set, sorry, I got two and ended up failing again. But um, you know, we've got to keep building on that. We'll get better at that. I always just keep trying and trying and trying, and then I'll end up dropping the weight and doing something like to try and just pre -exo uh, post exhaust the chest. Then we got a super set here where we do some uh, incline flies. Prefer incline flies. I get a proper. Um, pump in my chest i do prefer pec deck flies but i couldn't get a hold of it at this session because the gym was really busy um i super set it super set of this with like single arm rear delt fly which you'll see now so it's bench support so you lean on one side of the bench and you bring it down and you swing it back up and it really works your rear delts stretching your chest out as well um i think this also affected the shoulder pain it doesn't look optimal and you'll not see many people do but for me it works um i started off light on the first set and then the second set i go heavy obviously don't worry too much about like going too heavy do it don't go too heavy to the point where you can't do the rep, the, the rep but go heavy so you can generally feel it so um again just obviously with the flyers to exhaust the chest and uh really just get that pump really push it till failure i always go quite heavy about 16 18s and just push till failure till i can't do any more and then we'll super set with this so i use 16 kilo for the second rep a uh, second set sorry and as you can see it's a bit more of a pull but it works and honestly your rear delts will look amazing it's one of the best exercises i've ever just implemented in my workouts and i really encourage you to try it doesn't look optimal and it doesn't look like uh, it looks like a short injury basically but for me it works so feel free to try it over a conversion chest press so we got three sets of 12 on this but we kind of just scrapped that and went three sets till failure and then did a drop set at the end um which i don't think i got on record but i just started off at 56 kilo just pushing um for the first set and then after i always say after the first set though because it really affects the triceps as well it starts to become a struggle so on this set this is my second set i dropped down to 45 and i'm struggling with the reps and then i can't even get another rep out there as you see i'm just doing partials switch down uh drop it set that down on the third set and just go to 18 and just really blast it out and uh really push the chest if i get that blood pumping there was more chest exercises but obviously i couldn't get them all on my cord. like i said the gym was really busy and when i started doing biceps is when i started to die down so i did a bicep super set so i did hammer curls 10 and then straight away without hesitation switch and go to 
buy yourself curlers um, 10 as well. So you did, I do that. I did that for three sets, and honestly, it's one of the best bicep workouts ever. I went quite heavy at the start. I went 16s for both, and then towards the end, I dropped the weight for bicep curls to 10. Kept the same for hammer curls. For hammer curls, I can always do more. I can. I, um, I've seen. So with this as well, try and remain best form, um, like slow and controlled. But uh, if you get a bit of swinging there, there's nothing wrong with that. With a bit of swinging, I personally don't have an issue with the ego lifting. People will say it's ego lifting. For me, I don't really say it is. I think as long as you have, especially for biceps, as long as you have at least six to eight reps that are good reps, and then after that you start swinging, you still have that good reps and you've still worked the muscle. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so yeah, like this is one of my favorite biceps supersets as well. It really works the biceps and really gets that good pump in. As you can see there, I dropped the weight down to tens. And then um, you can do strict curls where you obviously arms flat or you can do just alternating curls. I prefer alternating curls, I think I get a better pump off it as well. And it just, for me, it's more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm very honest with you guys and this is my physique at the moment. Um, biceps are looking good, chest is also still looking good. I've never actually, since I've like put on all that weight, I never actually really lost my chest gains. I've got a little bit more like fatty again, but I never lost the chest gains, are still there. It's more just the torso and the back fat that I need to get rid of and really torn up. But the biceps are still there. I kind of just, not to beat myself, I'm um, like very much ego, but I kind of look like a mass monster. Um, Mainly it's just what I call full bulk, but uh, I know we're cutting again. So the biceps looking good, traps, shoulders, everything's looking good. It's just the torso, like I say, you'll see here that I do a front double bicep and the, the lats are popping. Here's how the back looks. As you can see, a lot of work needs to be done again. I'm um, just trying out different poses here, yeah, mind me, but I'm very honest with you guys and I want to be honest with you guys. But yeah, that was the session. I hope you enjoyed it. Yo guys, that is a chest session. It was a really good session to be fair. Um I'm trying to think I haven't ate the day actually at all. Um so yeah. Sorry, I got a really random message. Um Yeah, so that was a chest session there guys. It was a little bit like all over kind of chest session, but like, like I said last week, I'm just talking kind of in the bench in the game and stuff like that like a lot more i need to um get into benching a lot more as well so first time benching in about other than last week it's just literally like a warm-up set like of like up to 50. first time properly benching in about four to five months give or take um got up to 90 for two the reps were a bit dodgy but you know we moved past that um first rep was all right second rep needed help with so happy with that um uh, it's going to keep building obviously um I couldn't get any cables or flat like pec deck flies because the gym was like busy as hell um which was quite surprised on a friday night but um yeah it was busy and then we're a bit of like triceps biceps at the end get that bit of arm pump um if you guys are wondering on the super set as well if you watch that super set so i did flies and then did like it's kind of like a support that will race but you pull it all the way around it's for you like react delts and like stretches your chest out it's honestly it kills what's one of the best exercises i've ever implemented and it's so good, it's a super set. Um, two seconds, guys, it's gonna be a lot of people. Sorry about that, guys, a lot of people getting off the bus there. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna keep building on that, keep building to try and get the bench press a lot better, etc. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to cut as much as possible, trying to do as good as we can, and um, just see where we can get. We need to try and be better than last year. That's my goal, is to try and be better than last year. Um, and just keep training hard and keep bettering myself. Um, I think that's the main focus for this year, to so just better myself, to just be better than I was last year, look better than I did last year, um, and just have a total different mindset. So far this year, I've been very money-minded. I've been thinking loads about money and how to make money and going into things where I can't make money. But I need to try and get a job to get more money, so it's a, bit, a little bit of stressful, but I prefer to just be stressed and feel like I'm not doing enough, do you know what I mean? Like there's days where I've sat like a bed and provided it's two o'clock in the morning, but I still feel like I'm up and I still feel like there's so much more I can do. You need that mindset, you need that mindset to get better, to grow. Um, but I hope, you died. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Put the bell notifications on so you know when I upload. We're nearly at 310 subs already from hitting 300 subs last week. So I can't thank you guys enough. Um, make sure you have all my socials in the bottom left corner as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.